can't wait to get this space back. Ready? One, two, three, lift! Why is this so heavy? <sighs> that good? Nah, we gotta get it closer for pickup. Honestly, I'm just glad that you weren't the one who got hurt. Can you imagine? Taken out by a lighting rig. No, luckily recovery's only a few weeks. Too late to help me for the tag team money in the bank match, though. Even a small injury can mess with your head. Believe me, I know. Did they ever figure out how that thing fell? Unclear. Seems like dumb bad luck. For me, too. Finally figured out who to partner with, and now they're not even cleared to compete. It's such a bummer. We were just getting started together. You know, I always loved watching the tag matches the most when I was on the road with you. And those tapes of you and Molly tagging together weren't bad either. Ah, yes, your new best friend, Molly. She's not my best friend. Don't you want me to be on good terms with management? Fine, you're right. Lift. I think those championships are so aspirational for me because WWE finally has them. After the women's titles were introduced in 2018, tag matches started to seem even more important. Ow! Excuse me? What did I do? No shade to the current generation, but I grew up watching women compete on TV in tag team championship matches. You did? I have clearly failed to teach you proper wrestling history. Yes! Did you think I grew up in a vacuum and one day said, I think I'll become a professional lady wrestler? No! I watched and was inspired just like you. For me, it was seeing the main event women's championship match at the brawl to end it all in 84 that gave me the bug. But the tag champions back then were formidable too. I would have loved to see the superstars of today defend against some of the women I grew up idolizing on TV. So what happened to the titles? I don't know. Appetites changed. Management started putting their attention elsewhere and opportunities dried up. The championships, and a lot of the women themselves for that matter, got pushed aside. You did your stint in catering. You know what it's like. Yeah, not the best when you're fighting for limited opportunities. <laughs> you have way more opportunities than I ever did. If I had the chance to accomplish what you can... You accomplish plenty. Take even the current tag titles. Like you said, I never even had a chance to compete for a tag team championship when I was in WWE. They weren't a thing then. In fact, I heard you're in need of a partner. What do you say? Can you imagine? You and me standing as champions at WrestleMania? The Mysterios can't have a lock on this family thing. <laughs> Very funny. Like you could get in the ring again. Did I tell you that Molly said I can't even pick my own replacement partner? Oh? Your best friend isn't letting you call the shots? Oh, shush. No, everyone's clamoring to team up with me since I've already secured the Money in the Bank opportunity. So they're having a fatal four-way on Raw to decide. Interesting method. You know, on second thought, maybe I want to keep this desk. So many memories. Justine! Kidding, kidding. <laughs> Let's go. One... Two, three. Seriously? You? Yes! Me! What can I say? I'm a winner, baby! Molly, come on! I can't work with her! What about the stuff you said when you were asking to be put into this match? About tag teams being thrown together at the last minute, not even liking each other? This seems pretty standard for WWE, if I'm being honest. But what about the stuff you said about picking my tag team partner carefully? Don't use my own words against me. That's what I was trying to do to you. <sighs> anyway, there's no need to argue. This has been decided. And I, for one, am very excited to find out whether the two of you can coexist. Won't be a problem for me. 
Speak for yourself. With our history, it's a problem for me. Cool it. Don't forget, if you two set your differences aside and pull this thing off, you both win. And so you guys don't blow it and embarrass me, I've set up a training session before the actual Money in the Bank match. You can work out your issues and also practice your ladder climbing abilities. Meet me at the PC.
You know what? I think we work better as a team when you stay out of my way. I actually agree with you on that front, because that means you're away from me, too. Why did you even enter that fatal four-way? You knew winning would mean teaming up with me. And give up the chance to be a tag team champion? Even my dislike of you can't sour my thirst for those titles. Fine. Then let's not get in each other's way against whoever Molly has lined up for us. Then we should decide who's going for the pin, just so there's no confusion. I can be a team player. You should go for the pin. Fine. I will.
Trishko, certainly wasn't expecting to see her tonight, but I'd love to see what she thought of our matchup. She peaced right after the match. 
We could never stand to spend that much time together. Didn't you see any of our singles matches? Not the biggest fan of me. But she came to team with you? Yes, she did. Because despite our differences, we respect each other. And we respect what happens in the ring. That's my point. You don't need to like each other to win. But you guys lost. I'm not saying we took it easy on you, but we're WWE legends. I'm choosing not to process that last comment. I don't want to ruin this moment of getting a victory over you and Trish Stratus. Fine by me, but you get my point. You two are as ready as you're going to be. Just try not to kill each other before the money in the bank match, okay? And no promises. Couldn't I technically win the tag team titles alone? I know it would be harder, but possibly worth it. Oh, shut up. Listen, I know I'm biased in terms of what outcome I'd like to see tonight, but I can't get over the fact that we're previewing a women's tag team Money in the Bank match. Women didn't even have a regular Money in the Bank match until 2017. Boy, what I would give to compete. But since I can't, I will say that my niece has been putting in the work. I will admit she's not with the partner I hoped she would be competing with, but as they say, you win some, you lose some. In any event, it'll be an interesting evening. And I'm sure the tag champs will be watching carefully. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following contest is a triple threat tag team ladder match. Making her way to the ring from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, L. Given her history and ability, it's hard not to expect big things from this superstar. It's not that hard, Saxton. Potential means nothing compared to results. Let's see if she can get those. Let's see if this superstar can show us something special tonight. They don't come tougher than this wrestler. It's Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is yeah. destined to deliver. Ava Moreno is going to pull out everything in her toolkit tonight. Here comes Nikki A.S.H. A.S.H. Almost a superhero or more like super villain. And from Glasgow, Scotland, almost a superhero, Nikki A.S.H. Inspirational or delusional? I say inspirational, motivational, impactful. How can you not be a fan of Nikki A.S.H.? Easy. She's delusional. Such a Debbie Downer. What does almost a superhero mean? It means you don't need superpowers to be a superhero. You can be a superhero by just doing the right thing, by just trying your best, Michael. 
So if you left the commentary desk, would that make you a superhero, Saxon? Because that's the right thing. That's a bad example, Corey. Hey guys, you ready for some flex appeal? From Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke. She's a WWE veteran who's appeared to be hitting her stride recently. But listen, Dana Brooke has been synonymous with the 24-7 championship, and she recalibrated her career direction. Right now, Dana Brooke is fully focused. Well, I think that's the problem. I think Dana pays too much attention to the WWE Universe. Dana Brooke needs to take care of business. Tremendous energy and desire. She's hoping to solidify her, her position in the championship mix. Courageous, gutsy, and getting stronger every day in her climb to the top. The nightmare is real. Here comes Rhea Ripley. Unchecked aggression in the women's division. And representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. Ripley is one of the most wicked competitors we've ever seen. You're right, Saxton, and I love it. Rhea has embraced the darkness inside herself. A mix of determination and aggression. And that combination tends to do the trick in the ring. Ripley is downright vicious. Call her the Nightmare, call her the Eradicator. I call her straight up dominant. I'm so excited because here comes the TCB tank. And from Oakland, California, Shazi. Byron, one of the most unique women superstars in history, but she is quickly growing in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. Not afraid to fight, knows how to survive. And she's pretty fun to watch inside the ring, too. It's time for WWE's first ever tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. The atmosphere is incredible.
as she takes this fight to the floor. She's looking to climb the ladder here. She's going to have to move quick. It's time for WWE's first ever tag team Money in the Bank ladder match. The atmosphere is incredible. Always makes me want to climb up that ladder myself. Nobody wants to see that, Saxton, especially with three incredible teams vying to make history, including the unlikeliest of them all, Ava Moreno and her partner. One of these teams will edge their names on the record. From the top. Oh, just completely off target there. Taken to the air and completely wiping out. And that definitely made solid impact. Oh, and now she's getting back into the ring. Oh, and the ladder finds the mark. It'll be tough to bounce back from that one. Oh, how 
she going to get out of this fight? Back out of the abdominal stretch, and that's a great counter there. And turns it into a great offensive maneuver. Knee strike. of speculation we finally know the winners of the first ever tag team money in the bank ladder match wonder what oscar and tamina think about all this they're confident champions this is no real threat to them i'm not sure the briefcase holders are on the same page hopefully they can get it together enough to cash in that contract we'll see